Hi, bleeding critic. It's me. It's Tracy. And um, so here is my horror moment. Um, so one of the movies that I saw when I was really, really young, young as in probably about 10, uh, 10 or 11 years old, was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And um, so for me, that happened like one weekend. Uh, I was staying with my caretaker. And uh, so we she took us over to her sister's house for the weekend. And uh, we were there. And, and the area that we were in was pretty secluded. Like it was a, a gated community. So um, it was pretty quiet the majority of the time. And it was a really good chance that there was not anyone outside most of the time because it was just one of those communities. And so one Sunday, for whatever reason, I don't even know how we got the movie, but uh, it was just myself and her son, and uh, we watched this movie. And um, so we put this movie on, and we had no clue what we were getting ready to watch. We had no clue what this movie was about all we knew is it was a scary movie and we were used to watching scary movies so we decided to go ahead and put this movie on and we did and <laughs> everything that happened in that movie happened leatherface happened the sledgehammer scene at the beginning of the movie happened the uh, the the crazy family happened. Them trying to get the grandfather to uh, kill her with the sledgehammer and he was too weak to do it happened. And the hook, oh my God, the hook happened. And so, you know, when you're young, regardless of how big or small the apartment that you're in is, everything looks really big. So it just felt like the apartment was really huge and just felt like that there was something just hiding somewhere, ready to do something. And then on top of that, after the movie was over, uh, she came and she asked us to go to the store. And so we walked outside and it was, you know, it was daylight outside, but it was so empty outside and it was so quiet outside and it just seemed so surreal and you just expected somebody to just show up at any minute and it was a very heavy feeling to have at that age and I can actually you know honestly say that it did affect me um it didn't scare me off of scary movies clearly but it was something really heavy to have watched at that age. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre was definitely a horror movie uh, moment that has ingrained itself in my brain. Um, another, You said talk about a couple of movies. Well, um, so uh, Event Horizon is one of those movies that thankfully I saw when I was grown. However, it did not prepare me for the greatness that is Sam Neill. It was that movie. So the, it was atmospheric. It was. I like psychological horror movies. I like horror movies where you don't know what is going on in the movie is actually going on at the time or whether it's in the mind of the characters uh, I don't like poorly done psychological horror movies where you just look at them and say clearly that's not real I like those movies where it is very real very well written where you even have to take a step back and, and try to figure out whether what's going on is real or not and Event Horizon it's one of those movies where they kind of successfully mesh that whole thing together. And it was just to be alone in space, to be on board a ship that 
was malicious in its intent uh, to be on board a living thing, to be on board something that for all intents and purposes, they said had actually been to hell and back and to see the things that they thought of and to see the things that they went through and to see Sam Neill having carved his eyes out and covered himself in in just all types of engravings and just it was it was a very very scary movie is very isolating and intense and you feel like you're on the ship with them and it was really really incredibly incredibly well done and very very underrated in my opinion um Lawrence Fishburne was wonderful in the movie and I was quite upset um, you know, with the ending of the movie and even more frightened that the ship, uh, came back. Uh, so those two movies, um, those are movies that I can watch them now and still feel uneasy. They don't get old. They don't, they're not movies that you get used to. You can't watch them and say, oh yeah, I know that's going to happen. And still not be affected by them. And um, and I've seen lots and lots and lots of scary movies. Those have to be my top two. But um, if you want me to continue to tell you about the scary movies that I've seen. You might have to actually start a Tracy series. Because I can tell you about some movies and experiences. Like I Spit on Your Grave and Dress to Kill and... Um, Raising Cain and, and yeah, it's a lot of movies I could talk about. And, um, but anyway, I digress. Uh, I've already talked long enough, I think. And so, uh, Bleeding Critic, I just want to thank you again for this platform and allowing us to share and be a part of this. And, uh, it's, it's a very rare thing for me. I don't get a chance to talk about this stuff often because, not everybody understands where I'm coming from. I'm a little weird, I think, uh, compared to some of my friends. And so to be able to have a platform where I can bask in the glory of being a horror movie nerd is wonderful. So again, um, you guys, you can find me on Twitter at TZLewis73. You can find me on my record label website at terrorrecords.co. So that is terrorrecords.co. You can find me on my website at tracytr.com. That's T R A C E E T R.com. And you can find me on my management website at mrmtalent.com. Uh, again, thanks, Bleeding Critic. And uh, keep doing what you do. Happy nightmares. Bye.